Hey y'all, hey y'all, it is DJ the Diva coming at you with another video. You guys, time is just slipping away from me. I tell you, it's slipping away from me. Um, I was going to do a get ready with me. See, I just minimal makeup. All I did was the eyeliner. I didn't even do the mascara and I did the lip and I got that gloss from the Dollar Tree um I don't remember where I got the eyeliner but just basic eyeliner okay I know it didn't cost more than two or three dollars let's just say that but I woke up this side of heaven thank you Jesus uh woke up sick which is part of my recovery so I'm learning to go with the punches, you know. But in saying that, I noticed today is December 30th. Hey, you guys, these things right here, I know they're not supposed to be this big. But I get them basically to sleep in and they're comfy and always get them bigger. Um, these little camisole things, they're only like a dollar sixty-eight at Walmart. I got them in every color. I just like them. So, um, I'll probably get some that are actually my size. So they don't fit like a dress, but I love it. Can you see the waistline, y'all? It's trying to come through. It's trying to come through. We'll get it. We'll get it in 2020, y'all. But December 30th, which means this is my nap anniversary. I went natural 12 years ago today. Woo it was more of a spiritual journey than anything. I just wanted to strip everything away, give myself, surrender myself to the Lord. And be as he created me to be. So that's how my natural journey started. And let's take a peek. I started with Afro, y'all. Teeny weeny Afro. And then I went to bigger Afro. And I wore my Afro for about five years. Um... Then I started doing the twist and the braids, and I was doing my own extensions. I preferred kinky twist. Little did I know it was preparing me for my dreads. But I call them dreads, locks, nothing, mm, nothing offends me. You know. So, these are my curly locks. From a braid out you guys can you guys see that definition there Boop. let me see if I turn out a light can you see the definition better can you see that definition better no but the definition um, I think I had my braids in for about two weeks. Just greasing the, the scalp, making sure my scalp stayed healthy. Um, yeah. And I always do my hair so I can... This has been my signature <laughs> style here since high school. The parted on the side over this side specifically. Um, I have tried it on this side. I like it on this side also. That side's cool too. Now I've worn it so many years on this side that it's like refreshing to wear it on this side. <laughs> But I also like to wear it parted to the si each side. Hey, 
And I like to wear it back. Let's check out that length. How's that length looking, y'all? Y'all can see me. Okay. That length is getting out right. Just I'll try to do it with my hands. But I am about there. About bra strap. Felt bra strap stretched, and on this, unstretched. So, there's my bra strap. So, yeah, I'm getting to my goal. Um, I'll let you guys know when I get to my goal. My hair's growing so fast thank you lord the hair that i lost from my treatment is coming back it's coming back gray i don't care what color it comes back <laughs> i'm just happy for one that i have hair and two that it is growing back but it's growing back gray but it's growing back a pretty gray i i can't stand that when i see people with yellow gray ugh I think that looks horrible, but mine is growing in white, 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 white. Okay. Your girl had a rough year. And I'm trying to go into this year a little bit better, which means I'm kind of doing an overhaul on my, um, my health, uh, my eating I have to go back to pescatarian eating because this e eating meat crap is making me sick. And I didn't realize how sick I get um, eating meat until I started trying to introduce some meats back into my diet for whatever reason. I don't know. I think out of convenience because I was cooking for my family, you know, but, um, no, 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 your girl got to go back to pescatarian because that is what works for moi, you know, and I know that, um, there's no need of eating something and the next five minutes you feel like you're going to vomit or, the next 10 minutes, you're having explosive diarrhea. That is a no-no. That's your body telling you, this ain't going to work for us, <laughs> sis. Get it together. We want to go back to the fish and seafood and vegetables and fruit. So that's exactly what I'm doing. It did serve me well. Um, you guys know I was doing the Thrive Diet. I came off of it in November. I'm going back on it in January. It did me well. It made me feel well. It gave me energy. Um, yeah, so, ooh, I got to shave my arms. I got to be careful with shaving my arms, though, because, you know, my lymph nodes and stuff were taken out there, and uh, not too long ago. So, I got to be careful with that, brothers and sisters. So I think I'm going to be researching uh, more natural products or just go back to making my own, you know. But I, I, got, I have to make the time for me. And that's what I'm trying to get across to you guys. <sighs> Nobody that you love and care for is going to be any good if you don't take the time out to care for you. Because you can't pour from an empty cup, an empty vessel, you know. Uh, so, and if you're not here, what good is that going to do them anyway, huh? <laughs> That's what I have to tell myself. I look in the mirror and I tell myself these things. You know, you are worthy. You are worth Taking the time to take care of everything else can wait a minute till you take care of you. Everything else can wait a minute till you meal prep. 
to fuel your body, you know? Everything else can wait a minute till you take your time to eat. You know, I was, I had become one of those, a rushers. You know, I'd make sure everybody else, then I'd have to rush and eat to do whatever for everybody else. Come on now. That is not right. Your digestive system, you know, it, it doesn't even get a chance to tell you you're full. Before you're done eating a whole plate, all right? Let's take our time. Let's be mindful of what we're putting in our body. Let's look. Um, I'm going to cut down on my sugars. So if the if it contains sugar, and in the ingredients, sugar isn't in the first five ingredients, then it's a go for me. So, you know, I can't do without my honey. I'm going to do my natural sugars. Honey, aguave, that type of stuff is what I'm going to do. Um, what else am I going to do? Just go back to my pescatarian diet. Um, yeah, that'll, that works best for my body, for my... I have rheumatoid arthritis, and I can definitely tell a difference when I don't eat correctly. Um, I hurt all over. Uh, I get a lot of inflammation and swelling, and, and on top of that, it exasperates my lymphedema. Okay, uh, I get lymphedema in my arms because of the double mastectomies, and yeah. This makes me want to put a little loop at the top. I'm not going to do that because I sleep in these. And they feel oh so good on my skin. They're so soft. Um, what else? Yeah, I'm just going to make an effort. And I'm going to have a calendar. My mommy gave me a calendar. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start writing down what I do for myself each day to make sure that I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. And in that self-care, y'all, I'm going to put my prayers because I'm going to make sure I don't rush and I stay on top of talking to the Lord and thanking Him and asking Him for my heart's desire and for my needs and for my wants and Thanking him for what he's already done and thanking him in advance for what he has yet to do. Because I know he's going to give me blessings on blessings on blessings. Because he didn't bring me this far to leave me. <laughs> but I just wanted to share this with you guys. That woohoo, 12 years, natural. All right. But I've only been, let me see. June 24th, it'll be six years locked. Because I locked in June 30th of 2014. So I've been five years locked and 12 years natural. And I got the kind of hair that <laughs> I call a mass of BDBs. You heard of type 4C hair and it's it clumps, it shrinks. Well, I would have an afro. And when I'd get out in the humidity and stuff, it would go this way and that. To, girl. So I had to start wearing like style. So I would wear the afro frohawk. That would do me well. I had to like pin it to certain areas of my head. To get, but don't get me wrong, I loved my fro. I loved my afro, I wore it for many years. And before I went natural, I did um, afro weave. <laughs> I would do afro weave, don't ask me why. My hair would get relaxed. I'd have somebody braid it up for me and put the, what sense did that make? <laughs> That's why I was like, girl, go natural. So I start researching it through like Essen Magazine, Ebony Magazines, and Jet Magazine. I wish they'd bring Jet back. But, um, and that's how I went natural. So, yep. I went 
Natural 2007. December 30th. That was my transformation time. Um, I just went in one day, looked at it. I said, I'm going to go natural. The next week, I was like, okay, I'm over letting this grow out. And I went in the bathroom. Uh, my hair was about, I'll say, this long. And I just said, clip. <laughs> my daughter, my kids were running, running to my mom. Something's wrong with mom. She's cutting off all her hair. Meanwhile, I had already told my mom what I was going to do because my mom was my best friend. But I had already told her what I was going to do, so I did it. But my kids were so surprised. They thought something was wrong with me. <laughs> um, there was. I was having a transformation, baby. But yeah, God was working on it from the inside out. And I had to finish it, you know, so. But that's my story. And I'm going to wish you guys adieu. Because a girl has to get dressed to go to work. So I will see you in the next video. Peace. This is DJ the Diva. Love you to life. Act blessed, talk blessed, walk blessed, and be a blessing to be a blessing to the Lord by blessing somebody else. And also, please click that like and subscribe button. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.